all the beautiful people. It's winter in Switzerland. Well, we are going today in this winter wonderland, in this nice snowy weather and this beautiful, beautiful scenery is uh, back country. And why we are going to back country is that we are having back country skis to try today. Um, I bought for me and for the Lingenberry uh, Christmas present backcountry skis and I'm going to try out if they are any good and how to use them and all that stuff. I've been uh, following the social media, all that funky stuff from Finland and people are saying that your backcountry skis they are now the new uh, new trend or how do they say they call them they're like uh, gliding snowshoes but yeah let's be honest they are more like skis not snowshoes maybe the the bindings are like snowshoe style but yeah let's uh, let's try to get ourselves to the backcountry and then uh, we will do some kind of uh, product uh, I don't know testing thing and I'm sure we will also find a place where we can make a nice fire and cook some good lunch Right, here we are. So let me just explain you this really quickly. These are the skis, skin-based KAR149. And these are having like snow shoe kind of bindings, as you can see. And maybe you can see The bottom of the ski, it's having some uh, skin here with the hairs, so that should help me to get up the hill and that should not break me too much when I'm coming down. These are having some kind of uh, edges made of metal, but if they are any good and if we can go downhill, I have my doubts. Let's. Uh, Try to get up the hill. I'm like walking up, but this hill is already too steep. So what I need to do is I need to do the, you know, I call it duck walk. And not only to use my legs and skis to go up, but also support me with the sticks or with the sticks. They're pretty well balanced, but I can see that if if the front of the ski goes into deep snow and I try to lift it and it stays there. But yeah, let's just try to get up this hill now. doing the good old duck walk. Ooh. It's hard, but the view is beautiful.
they work, they work. Yeah. I just need to put my poles a bit longer than they usually are because there's so much snow here. My normal setting is like 120 centimeters, which is about 47 inches. Let's put to 125, 49 inches. Yeah, that's better. As we are here, we might as well do some downhill testing. I know these skis are not downhill skis and so on, but since we are in Switzerland, we got some mighty downhills here to try out. This one, what I'm having here, it's not a big one, but it's it's surely enough to get me uh, into hospital. But I'm still going to try out how do these backcountry skis work when you are going downhill. I'm not even trying to uh, turn, by the way. So it's downhill, downhill. <laughs> Give it another go. I'm so dying. And now it's proved you definitely can go downhill with these backcountry skis. But control? Nah, 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 no control. So, unless maybe if you have like a totally just a little bit snow and you can do some telemark turnings, then yeah. But in the deeper snow, especially because of the shoe is, uh, you know, is, it's not that stable. It's going around, uh, you don't have that kind of control for the ski. But that's not the idea of these skis. The idea of these skis is to go to the back country, you know, instead of snowshoes. Uh, and yeah, guys, if I compare this with snowshoes, bring me snowshoes, what you can use to go down the hill. You can't find any, but these ones, Cool, awesome. I'm getting all sweaty already here. But that's good, that's good. More about the skis. This is no product placement. I had to pay with my own money so I can tell something about this. Like I told you earlier, these are OAC skis from Skin Based. The model is KAR149. And these are really popular, at least up in North. And I think you guys can get these also from North America. And yeah, a cool uh, crow image here and uh, yeah, just suitable. What I maybe don't like that much is uh, is these bindings. Uh, when you try to make them like really tight, they start to like, uh, you know, just going around. But um, otherwise, it seems to be pretty okay. Okay. 
Uh, today is not only first time for the backcountry skis, today is also first time I tried to cook with alcohol. I'm having here some uh, alcohol and I'm, and I'm having a alcohol stove. What I'm going to combine with my firebox. So let's give it a go. Now the challenging part will be to to adjust these fire sticks so that the uh, that this one oh, that was that was okay first attempt perfect and then we just uh, I have no idea how much you have to put this alcohol here inside. Luckily we are in quite a safe environment here. This old tree is not, not so close. Oh, look at this. Some vitamins. Now where are my matches? Here. I think it's burning now. At least it, it's making that kind of sound. Yeah, and it's warming. I think I have to lift this up. That's the thing with alcohol. You don't. You, you, how do you know it's burning? Because you can't see the flame. So guys, what we are having today, we have a shop steak. This is from Austria. And, um, well now when I see it, actually it's three pieces. I think one is enough for, for me. Um, it will be a challenge. It will be a challenge for the for the alcohol stove to cook all this meat anyway. And um, if this pan is even getting warm, ah, it's getting it's getting warm, but it's not it's not hot yet. So I'm really having my doubts. Cause I don't want to eat this like raw. I'm not I'm not that kind of a Viking. <laughs> I was making a makeshift uh, wind block over here and it seemed to work. Look at this. So I think we should definitely uh, open up this and try to make some food. Oh yeah. Get in there. <laughs> Oh yeah, you definitely should be here, smell this. crazy but as soon as the wind is even blowing a little bit harder or from the different direction that my wind blocker is not working the pan is cooling down immediately that's uh, that's quite a difference this will take some time that's like a free dog over there I'm lucky he didn't uh, smell my steak. The 
the wind comes from his direction. <laughs> Right, guys. While we are are here in this beautiful, beautiful scenery, I think it's time to enjoy a step two. This is called Moren Broy. There, I show you the. Yeah, it's definitely there's definitely definitely an N word in that uh, in the name of this beer and uh, uh, a black face in this logo. I'm not the wokest person alive, but I find it uh, unbelievable that they still can make this kind of beer with this name 2024. Uh, sure, this is... They, they have been brewing this since 1763, so yeah, we're talking about uh, soon. 300 years of tradition, but still, I'm still going to give it a go, you Austrians and everyone else. We are spending a longer time here, so I might just have this Austrian beer. Try it out. Let's try it out. Let's not be uh, racists, you know? Racism is not good, it's for idiots. More and broy. I don't know. It's beer. It's cold, but nothing special. Hey guys, don't don't do this at home. But this is like the only chance I'm having now. Oh yeah, that seems to work. So the the alcohol is burning directly or somewhere inside the, the firebox, not in the burner itself, but it's burning. So uh, you know. Seems to work. Hey, we got some heat going on. Perfect. Some more. Hell yeah. Now we're talking about. This is how it looks like. So the, the onions, they are like totally... Uh, if not brown, they are at least they are like soft, and means it's time to put on the secret ingredient. Okay, guys, look at this. It's perfect. It's perfectly well done. It's not even rare. It's not even medium rare. It's well done, I would say. Mm -mm -mm. A few hours later. Okay, I uh, just noticed that the camera was not working totally properly and that's why I'm doing this uh, ending here in my garage at home. Yeah, about the backcountry uh, skis, they are really cool thing to go forward if you are tired of uh, using your snowshoes and walking like a duck going slowly. The backcountry skis, they are uh, something something else, but of course also something else if you need to go, for example, up the hill. I don't know if it's next time, but soon there will be a bombastic stealth camping on this channel. It takes planning, it takes money, it takes good luck, all that stuff, but uh, you know, it's really worth of uh, staying tuned. And if you haven't, please subscribe and uh, if you like this video, put the thumbs up, all that funky stuff. That's it. See you next time somewhere outside. Ciao.